okay the next thing that we'll we'll do is uh, we will try to get this 12 millimeter uh, dimension first then we need uh, first we need to change our cutting tool Okay, the next thing that we need to do is we need to face this side first and get this 12 millimeter. There it is. So another 5 millimeter.
Okay, since knurling will expand the uh, radius back to 0 0.3 millimeter, so we will cut more 0 0.3 millimeter from this radius. Okay, this is a uh, knurling tools. So insert the knurling tools into the holder and then center the knurling tool. Where to center the knurling tool? Center it at this uh, joint, pivot. The speed for knurling is uh, 40 RPM. So that is the speed for knurling. So what we need to do is straighten the knurling tools. Okay. Okay. Bring the knurling tools to the and touch, barely touch the knurling tool. Okay. After the knurling tool is uh, barely touched, set 0 for the X direction and then we can start the knurling process. Okay, when the knurling tool is uh, moving, move uh, in the Z direction slowly. Make sure the knurling tool doesn't pass your uh, shaft or else it is hard to set it back. Okay, after the knurling tool has uh, passed two, three round left and right in uh, Z direction, what we can do is in the Y direction, uh, push it a bit so 0 0.1 mm. okay. then uh, move the rolling tool left and right
Okay, the last uh, step that we need to do is the chamfering. So first replace the tools, center the tools. And then we need to uh, loosen this screw. Okay. Loosen this screw. And another one at here. Then, since the angle of the chamfer is 45 degree, uh, so we will set this to 45 degree. So this is the marking. And that is 45 degree. Okay. After set, uh, setting that angle, we tighten the screw. Okay. Then, straighten our uh, cutting tool. Touch it at the tip of the part. Okay. So when we move this, it will cut in 45 degree angle. How do we get uh, uh, once? A one by one uh, chamfer from the drawing is by so move this front and back and then zero this and then move this uh, 0 0.5 so this uh, axis will move 0 0.5 mm. So we cut once and then move to 1 mm. So the second cut will get us the 1 times 1 chamfer. So uh, that's all of the step to finish our product. The next thing that we need to do is because this part has uh, some burr here, so we need to file it down to remove the burr. Okay, that's all. Okay, for those of you who haven't uh, subscribed this channel, please do subscribe. Thank you.